weren't anything during that time, except you are who you are. So I'm sorry that I missed you, but I'm hearing uh, uh, straight away. Sorry, Capricorn. All of a sudden, it's just coming straight away. I heard "miss you" or "tissue," or something to do with uh, either like a tissue damage, or a cold, or flu symptom, or some kind of symptomatic uh, feeling that I'm hearing. Something also something to do with somebody's hearing. Okay, uh, but I'm also picking up an earring as well. Someone, I think someone is picking you up an earring for your partner is probably picking you up earrings for Christmas. So I do apologise, but they have been coming out through the readings. <clears throat> so I'm hearing earrings, uh, but I'm also hearing like tissue for some people, like tissue damage or something was damaged in their life. Uh, and it's led to, because I'm feeling like someone's being led astray. This could be your partner, but I'm not sure what I'm channeling at the moment. But led astray, because I'm picking up strayed, strayed or afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of something. I think somebody is afraid of something, your partner possibly. If these are channeled messages, I'm not sure who they're going to relate to, but I'm trying to do it from your partner to you. So someone's afraid to take... Uh, an approach to do with finances as well but I don't think it's more of like I'm not going to do it it's kind of like I'm unsure what's going to happen but I have to do it but I definitely think it's coming around money and it's like I'm not afraid I'm going to do it but because I haven't discovered it yet there's uh, 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 an energy of like I'm unsure so it's not really afraid I'm also picking up darkness of something to do with dark okay so I'm picking up clothing, something to do with clothing, dark clothing, and also uh, earrings. Someone's like picking up earrings from a, a store because they're saying storage, storage, or storing. Um, I don't know because I'm hearing. Don't go back to the drawing board. Don't go back to the boring board. Go back to the drawing board. <laughs> I think things are stuck at the moment where it's like I need to go back to the drawing board. I don't want to go back to the boring board, which is something that you have, but you want something more. But to do with work and finances is what I'm picking it up. OK, and I don't want to go back to the boring. I want to go back to the. Uh, oh, I'm hearing storing, storing. I keep hearing storing. I'm storing something. There's st I think your partner's probably storing something for a planned event. But let's see. So uh, Capricorn, <laughs> I'm sorry that I missed you out. Uh, I did forget. I'm hopefully doing the Januaries as soon as I finish this one. So please make sure that you hit the bell, like, share and subscribe. And the Januaries will be coming out very soon. I'm also changing everything up now. So we're going to look into complete free readings OK, we're going to clarify everything as well through different stuff that I'm going to do. It's going to give me more time to put more readings out for people so they will be a bit longer. <clears throat> also, I have to promote myself. I hope that you like the intro and the music that was at the beginning of this and some of the stuff that I've been putting out that is coming from another channel that I've done, which is called Lucid Dream Tarot Music. I'm going to be channeling some different kind of messages through that at some point. But there are some interesting stuff, hopefully, that you might like, which is called Lucid Dream Tarot Music. You can find the link below. Everything in the description is now changed. So if you want to have a look through, you can find different videos, playlists, set lists, but also to the music. OK, and I would appreciate people's following and to help uh, build up that channel. So hopefully you like music. There will be different genres. There's something that I've done about Jim Morrison and a story. There's the one at the beginning of this, uh, Tarot Music, uh, Mermaid Magic Music. There's all kinds of things that we're going to look into, films and that kind of thing. But that is a completely different channel, but also sometimes still tarot as well. So 
and the teaching stuff that people have been interested in the past, all that kind of thing will be on the other channel and not this one. Okay, it, um, I've got things planned for myself, but I'm just in the process of doing it. But let's have a look. Capricorn, show me Capricorn soulmate or or partner. I need a future partner. Can still be future partner. Show me Capricorn soulmate or future partner. So you've got uh, Leo. So in their uh, in their life, show show me what's happening in their life. So in their life, they I mean they have strength but they also have a leo okay so i'm hoping that you have leo in your chart but you have to relate that i'm looking into their life okay but in their life very prominent at the moment is a leo okay they're trying to have courage and strength to find loyalty so they probably see you loyal because i'm also picking up virgo energy okay now they're seeing uh loyalty as a main ingredient because i'm picking up ingredients uh greeting uh, greedy i also heard greedy Greedy, agreeing, agreeing to disagreeing, but I'm also hearing greeting, uh, greedy, okay, uh, reedy, 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 oh, my friend's <laughs> surname is reedy, but reading something, because I'm picking up, some are reading it the right way, and some people, people are, read, are reading it the wrong way, or reading this person the wrong way, it's like, they can't quite grasp what's happening in this card at the moment of what I'm channeling, so if there are channeled messages come through Capricorn, I'm not sure if they're going to be for you, from you, or to. <laughs> we'll see. Again, okay, but uh, cross watchers, please. This is not. It's a. It's, it's a general reading. <laughs> Sorry, I just want to get on with the reading. So let's see, Capricorn. Show me Capricorn's soulmate. We're not going to take that one. Show me Capricorn's soulmate's life. Show me Capricorn. They're grieving. They are grieving. Okay, because there was the five of cups. They're grieving. That's what that was. There's some kind of grief or brief that they're seeking out to do with money. Okay, but grieving over something. There's, there's some kind of loss of grieving. What's going on with Capricorn's soul? That's right, actually. Okay, so, well, two major arcana straight up. So they're traveling. They want to move. They are physically having strength to, because I'm hearing uh, trying to sort out affairs of um, changing up uh, documentation in their bank, because I'm picking up bank, and uh, they're looking into their uh, uh, address, because I'm picking up name and address, signed, sealed, delivered, and I'm picking up names and address and changing the addresses. Someone's changing their address or their appearance, your partner, your soulmate, seems to be changing uh, their appearance. Their appearance for something. So I don't know why I heard earring or hearing. They're hearing. Because I'm picking up for some people like a hearing aid. Because I'm picking up aid. An AD? AD. Because I'm also picking up reedy. But aiding. Aiding. An ailment. So it's kind of like the five of uh, cups that did come out. They're, someone's grieving over some kind of like financial greed. It's kind of like, I don't know who this card's coming from at the moment, but there is like, it's because someone's like wanting luck. This is luck, fame and fortune, okay? Because this person's winning here. And here it's luck, fame and fortune. Someone's lucky. It's like your partner just seems to be lucky. So whoever you're connecting to and watching this for... I'm not sure if you get the full amount of what you're supposed to. Because I think that you might be trying to claim from this person that is more... It seems like financially... I don't know where it come from. It seems like there's... Because I'm hearing that too. Okay. I don't know where this money came from. Someone's received some money. And you might be saying to them, I don't know where this money came from. Or where is this money going to come from? Because you seem to have had a lucky fall. Because I'm picking up a fall through this strength card that someone was ill, like, took an accident. Thank you. An accident claim. Wow, I'm going really cold. Like an accident claim. Someone had a fall, and then someone is saying, I don't know where this money come from. Now, if this is coming from your partner, this is what's happening physically with them, because that's what it's about. So, it's kind of like your partner seems to have had a claim from the internet. Like, like PPI, because I'm hearing PPI. I. 
the eye. Someone, I don't know why I'm hearing someone got poked in the eye. <laughs> what? Someone got provoked. Provoked. Because it, it, it feels like someone's got provoked and they put in a claim from either PPL I or there was an accident that would, uh, there was a claim for this five. And this could be you where you're saying, well, where did this money come from? And they're saying, well, I've, I've claimed it back from the insurance because there's an insurance. I'm picking up insurance policy. Policy. Because I'm also picking up polyps for some reason, which is what I'm going through in my nose. Like, uh, no, who knows? Wow, sorry, but I'm picking up loads of messages at the moment. Because uh, something to do with the facial... Someone's changing their appearance. It, okay, now I'm picking up plastic surgery. Surgery. Something's gone under... Someone's gone under surgery or going under surgery. Or it's plastic surgery. And someone's trying to change their appearance. And it feels like I, I don't know where that came from. Like, the money that they got for it, which seems to have come out of my account. Cause th these are channeled messages, okay, Capricorn. So please let me know if this is relating to you. Because I heard, like, an operation. Like, uh, some people it's a claim. But someone here is trying to change their appearance because of, like, a, a, a nose operation? An operation? But it's also like keep your nose out of my business. That might be what, what I'm kind of starting the channel. Keep your nose out of my business. But someone's persistent to have strength to remain to want to know what this five of coins is, which is where this money's coming from. Because it's like, well, where's the money coming from then? And it's like, well, I had a lucky win. I had a lucky break. Because I'm also picking up like a nose break as well. Like we had a break and now... Who knows? <laughs> Sorry, that was a pun. Sorry. Show me Capricorn soulmate or partner. Come on, let's just go and have a little bit. Show me Capricorn soulmate or partner. Yeah, surgery. Surgery. Something surgical. Uh, I'm picking up uh, uh, med uh, surgical um, surgical spirit, like a, a spirit also, like some kind of spirit is round you or them. That's trying to tell you something about money. Okay, that you need to go ahead on, because it feels like I'm going to go ahead on this operation here. I'm going to go ahead on this operation here, and I'm going to find out what this is because there is something to do with like how much that's going to cost okay so if this is relating to you and you know about your partner but this is supposed to be what's going on in their life but this kind of like some kind of spirit and i need to find out about this operation to to pay for it because somebody wants an operation but they're wondering how to pay for it so what's going on in your life this might be that you know that they're trying to afford to buy you some kind of either one gift or an operation okay because I'm picking up operative, opera, the opera. Some people, there's a present that's coming that someone's... Because it feels like operatic, operatic equipment. Operatic equipment? Surgical equipment. Surgical. God, I'm getting some strange things come through my head. Because I'm picking up like this electric shock therapy. Like therapy. Someone's going through like electric shock. I don't know what you call that. Like therapy. Some kind of... Uh, I don't know who I'm channeling for. Some kind of therapy for a scan. But also for some, a scam of money. But also a scan. Like a retina scan for the... Uh, yeah, thank you. Retina scan for the eyes. Because I'm hearing like cataracts, cataract, rack, rack, uh, rack, 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 hell, <laughs> but rack, or oh, oh, uh, sorry, like a, a woman's job, <laughs> a woman's job, rack, <laughs> rack, hell. <laughs> so if this is coming from your partner. It seems like they're saving up money to buy you some kind of surgical equipment or some kind of 
like something that you want, which is like a uh, surgical operation. And it feels like your partner is trying to save up for this to find out how much it's going to cost to give you what you want. Okay. And there, some of them work on the internet here or they travel abroad. Because I'm picking up like a doctor, uh, having to travel abroad for a doctor. Now, if this isn't involving you, this is what's going on with them, what I'm channeling. That somebody wants to go for Because I had a, a cha like a change. A change. Because I'm also hearing now either that or a, a, um, either a physical change or an exchange rate of money of how much it would cost. Because it feels like cost and it's going to cost, but it's effective. Because I'm uh, now I'm hearing it affected. Someone got infected from something, and they need to go to the doctors. So I don't know what what specifically that is, Capricorn. Uh, but pff, this is a uh, <laughs> a channeling tarot uh, reading. So I hope people don't take offence for whatever that is. But we're looking into your soulmate's life. What's going on? With Please continue on this reading, please. Capricorn Soulmate Slide. Thank you. Ooh, Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords, and you've got the sign of either Leo. I mean, you've got Leo. This is Leo also here. Okay. Now, they have got an altercation with also a Leo in their life. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, family member, anybody, child, friend. There is definitely some kind of altercation that someone is running. Because, look, this is an eye operation because it's like the blind leading the blind in this specific card. Okay, King of Wands to the natural uh, flavour of different cards, but because I'm picking up like a flavour as well, like a flavour, but I don't know why I'm hearing that one at the moment. Like fitness, flavours of milkshakes, like uh, milkshakes are <laughs> better than the yard, but the yard, like prison sentence, someone could be facing a prison sentence. And they don't know what this outcome is going to be because they're wanting to find out what it is. Like the blind leading the blind, in a way. Meaning that they don't know yet. Okay, that's for some. Now, for others, this person is running from also one Leo to another. And I'm also hearing a mother now, going from one mother to another mother. Now, this is what's going on with your soulmate. So... They're, if they're running from Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, they're running back to you to give you the truth, but there's going to be some kind of thing that they want from you first, which is probably money, to support them with something. Now, whether that be good or bad, I don't know. But someone's looking into support workers, like a support worker, okay? Like, because I'm hearing counselling for something to do with also an operation that may have gone on in their life. Uh, that they're looking for money. And this person also wants your backing and your support to support them to turn out for the best. Okay? So when we look at things, because I'm being drawn to it going actually like this way, okay? Now it seems like they want support from you, but there's going to be a good turnout for it. So it's kind of like, well, I have to invest. We have to invest into this to be able to get out of whatever kind of situation that we're in at the moment. In order for us to get out from it, we need to pull ourselves together, but I need your support first to get me out of this because there's a, a lot of astrological feeling stuff that's coming up. So it's kind of like a plan that someone, your soulmate, has a plan to ask you to come back into your life, but they might physically want your support to do with... Uh, or you need their support child benefit wise. Because there's some kind of benefactor is what I'm picking up. Like benefactor. Like there is someone that's the main benefactor. But the other person is trying to get away with not giving you so much. But they're kind of like they're willing to 
to pay for this operation. Okay, so somebody here is willing to pay for this operation. Now, if you're looking for an operation, it seems like they're willing to pay for it. Now, if you're on the opposite side of the scale and it's you that's willing to pay for it, because I'm hearing maker and I'm also hearing a pacemaker. Now, for some, that would be an elderly uh, grandparent that is looking for some kind of help or you are from them. Because I, I'm picking up loads of different messages through this Five of Pentacles. That somebody wants, it's like your soulmate or your partner is going through this phase where they need some kind of operation and they're going to ask you for money for support for it. Or they don't quite give you everything that you're wanting, but what they are going to do is financially help you through this medical condition if there is one. And that it could well be for some of you an operation that they're going to help fund. Because this is, I'm picking up a trust fund and a foundation of um, charity organisations and charity work. Because this is like a runner, okay? And you've got the chasing and running in the normal situation deck. But I'm hearing through this card specifically that this is an organisation for some. Like a charity event. So... It feels like your partner runs organisations of fitness, instructing, because I'm picking up like an instructor that is setting up an organisation to do with something that's going to financially help you both out. So there might be different messages coming for different people, but because it's general, I get loads, loads. Sorry, these are so difficult. Show me Capricorn so my partner. Okay, so we're gonna take that one. Yeah, digging up the past. They're trying to well, you've got three major accounts. You got some serious energy around you, Capricorn. This person you might see as someone that controls the amount of information that they take from you. Because it feels like they try to dig up the past. This is the magician. But in this deck, they're digging up something. Okay, this is also searching for gold. It's kind of like everything that glitters isn't gold, you know. So it seems like they're digging up information to find something out. Okay, it's still like a four in my eyes, the magician. It's because someone needs a break from also work through this foundation that they're setting up for somebody. But they're trying to dig up information that they can do to financially help themselves out. So if your partner's going through this, they're trying to dig up the past history to either help or hinder you for some people. I mean, I've got to say, it's either for some it's for you and it's going to help you out or it's not going to help you out. And this person's, but uh, either way, this person's trying to escape and avoid. Seven is still the tower. It's a seven and it's avoiding something, okay? Something that needs to be said about this Leo Aries Sagittarius. That in your partner's life, they are trying to dig up stuff either on this Leo Aries Sagittarius or that person is trying to dig it up on them. And that might be why they are running scared back towards you. Because they don't know what this person here is going to dig up. That's what I'm hearing. If they're coming back to you to ask you for some kind of money or support, they don't know what this magician is going to dig up. Okay? They don't know what the turn up's going to be. Because this is turning stuff up and just turning it over. And someone feels that they're going to be turned over money-wise. So there's a risk. Game of life. <laughs> Christmas. But there's a risk. Trying to take a break, but also needing to take a risk out of this situation. Show me Capricorn somewhere or part of life. So, there's a period of financial waiting for what this news, <laughs> you see. This is 100% news that this person's waiting on. Now, that can be you that's waiting also, but through your partner... This energy is definitely coming up of something that they're waiting on to find out, to dig up first. 
before they come back to you here with what I'm hearing is an apology, which is the Ace of Blades. Some of this is to do with an operation still, but that that energy I can't quite hear so much anymore. I did hear I can't quite see so much anymore for some, like I can't quite see the way I used to. I can't see things the way that I can't see things the way that we used to see things anymore because there's been a lot of waiting on this money to come through. 12 here. Could be a Piscean, possibly. Okay? Because I'm picking up Pisces energy. Uh, but there's also Neptune that's going to be happening soon. Because um, I keep hearing, picking up like Pisces energy, I need to wait on this decision first. Now, so I have a four against the Piscean Leo energy. But also mother, because that would be 12, and that would be three of the high priestess. So the energy is specifically coming from a mother, which could be you, that is waiting on some kind of financial help, also from uh, children, if you've got them. And this would be happening in their life. Okay, so I'm getting cross-watched now. Uh, try to start talking to myself. <laughs> I'm half talking to you, myself, and spirit. <laughs> That would also relate to a mother that needs help and support from these people that are also moving in here that are going to support this five of pentacles. They're going to support this person here because the answer to me is yes. You can leave this situation here, but at the moment you just need to end this contract here to come back. And that seems to me that that's what's going on in your soulmate's life. That they're waiting here on this contract to end. So what they're doing is, is that it feels like they're going through their documentation of their phone to organise their uh, affairs to make sure that things are changed. Which is what I'm picking up, like shortchanged. Because I'm picking up shortchanged. But I'm also picking up like shortchanged as in Mr. Ben, which was... <laughs> Which was, um, he would change his appearance. I keep picking up appearance for someone through this surgical thing. But I'm also picking up, like, uh, to, to change, uh, the contract that they were in that is set by someone else that's coming through your soulmate's energy, which is a friend or a mother. Because it would still be someone that owns a company or house. And a contract to do with that has to be over first before this person can move. Physically move out the way. But all, I'm also hearing like an illness of physical move as well. So if you're waiting for your soulmate to come back with this uh, gift. Because this five I'm picking it up as a gift. Of like, I'm going to come back with an apology and also a gift that would cost, pff, who knows, who knows. Because the five of pentacles, everyone's like, oh, it's just, can be a lot of money. <laughs> Trust me, that can still be a lot of money, is what I'm hearing for some people. There's still a lot of money there in this old house. I'm channeling some kind of money that's still at this old house that we need to go back to get there you go so <laughs> waiting to seal a deal six of wands i can't pick up whether this is your energy or that i mean what's going on in their life they're waiting to seal a deal they're trying to get attention also from some of their family to find out first as well like approval, seal of approval, seven of coins. I need my approval. They're looking for an approval from their family if they can actually go ahead and move out to move in. For some. Or, the, or their carer. Whoever cares for them, they're looking and waiting for this seal of approval from this person that could well be a fire sign. Okay. That first, before that ends... I need to like sort out my affairs and get everything like uh, doctor's appointments changed is what I'm hearing. Like things, doctor's appointments, because uh, I'm physically moving. 
And because I'm physically moving, I need to change all this stuff. But I need to wait for the seal of approval for this contract to end from the residency to be able to get out of it. And that's their plan, to get out of it. Okay, so it is definitely involving family members of children, friends, people around them, okay? And also stuff that they're setting up. Also, through the appearance of maybe a contract of court, if it isn't, this would be a solicitor. Because I'm picking up, picking up, oh, I'm soliciting. Soliciting. Mm. Well, I just heard soliciting. Okay, and it's either a solicitor or it's soliciting. Lisa, 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 I'm hearing the word, uh, name Lisa. Okay, but uh, forget that one, but I'm also hearing, sorry, not forget that name. I'm also hearing, don't relate it to this, but soliciting. Okay, so they also is a contract from the person that would own their company or house. Um, because they own that, they're also claiming that their own children are here as well, okay, or a friend. There's some kind of discrepancy for, for a friend because this person won't change their mind, right? It's kind of like, so they're waiting for the seal of approval for this person to change their mind as well. But this would also be a contract of uh, money and like being thrown around for like rent that needs to be paid from one to another. So there's a pass over and a turnover of a passing energy from one to another, okay? So let's see if we can look a little deeper. So what's this uh, strength card for? Tell me more about this strength card of what's going on in Capricorn soulmate's life, please. So, show me. Money, 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 contract, contract, you see, they are building up their trust, they're learning to believe again, and they're learning to trust again, and through that period, they're having to work hard in order to be able to um, support themselves, that's just Leo energy, okay, they're having to work hard now for their money, but they might have a lot of it, who knows, okay, 13, which is 4, savings account some of them are actual accountants or they're going to their solicitor or their accountant <laughs> tax tax count accountant thank you their tax accountant to uh find out what their tax bill is going to be so they're looking into businesses to find out uh receipts for um this is them writing documents this could be their solicitor that's looking into their um receipts for them to how much things would cost i'm also hearing like shopping for stuff and keeping receipts for it tell me more about this eight of pentacles so i do also start to channel through these cards when they come out to capricorn so if they really do relate please make sure that you tell me in the comment section i really would appreciate that what's this eight of pentacles for because when they're channeled, I've got no idea sometimes where they come from, <laughs> right? Because it's just what you uh, are you here. Because I'm, I'm still sort of channeling through that. Sorry, that because uh, I'm hearing like crossing a channel, like the Channel Tunnel. Some it's like France, the UK, but I'm also hearing Belgium, Belgium, Belgium. Um, what did I hear before that? South of France. What's this? Thank you. 
So you've definitely got strong Leo. Leo Aries or Sagittarius, it doesn't matter. But there's a lot of there's a lot of love here for this person. If they're loving on a Leo, then I do apologize. But if there is, then someone definitely is. Okay. They're that's their dream. The Nine of Cups to me is dreaming because they want their dreams. This person here wants their dreams big time. And if this is what they want with you and you know that, they want you big time. Okay, they want you big time. Um, and they're willing to work on it. But because this is what's going on in their life, I really can't tell you your lives. Okay. But they want to work on it with this person because they're... It, you know, they see that as their dream, their dream job, their dreams, their aspirations of what they feel creative about. And that's what they're going to do. And that's definitely coming from Leo. But Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, willing to stand up to fight, to say, I need to sort out all my book work and, and everything else. And I need to get all my affairs right first. So I need to change my life. Because you are my wish fulfillment. Because you are my destiny. You are my one and only. So they see you as your destiny and your one and only. Cappy. What's Wheel, Wheel of Fortune for? Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Say no more. Reading's over. They want to get married. <laughs> they want to get married. I realise I haven't got a drink. Five and five, you see, to work on it. To work on it, to work on this marriage. For some of you, you're actually in a strong commitment with this person and also possibly marriage. If it isn't, they're searching for something for Christmas for you that could well be an engagement present. Like, or they're going to, they, I mean, some of them, I'm definitely picking up that that's what they're searching for online, that they're looking at rings. They're looking at rings. And they're looking at how they can fight. Because I did channel at the beginning, I think, through that, right? That uh, they're uh, searching for something and seeing how, how much they can afford to spend on it. But you've got the sign of Taurus. Okay? But generally, what I'm feeling is that they want to work on this relationship with you or the marriage that you're in because they love you. What's the Hierophant? But still, they have to end this contract with... Whatever that is in their life, whether it be love, friends, or, or any kind of contract that they have to walk away from here. They have to walk away from it. Because they're heading out. Which is eight, which is still Leo to me, with water in their chart. What's this eight of cups? Tell me more about this eight of cups. Because they want to move physically through the Wheel of Fortune. And they want to settle down through the Hierophant. But they also need to leave something behind. But hopefully that's headed towards you. But they're headed towards a Taurus. Which means they're headed towards a, uh, a different mindset of commitment. But they're heading towards something stronger. If you're relating this to like your children or or someone that you're watching it for, they're definitely headed towards a commitment. So we're not going to look too much deeper into that one. So show me this five of coins because we've got to keep the time limit down a little. This is five of coins. Five of coins. Well, there's some money, 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 money. They're waiting on this final. So that could be you, okay? That could be you. You've got the seven twice, which is very lucky. <laughs> Sevens twice, which is lucky. Because there's uh, an uh, investment. See, people will say you're waiting on a relationship. The ma majority of the time when pentacles turn up, this is their money that's, that's ha appearing in decks. That's why it's pentacles, okay? So generally, what they're waiting on is this news that's that's coming 
12, 3, again, from a parent or from a landlord to see, to end this contract. For some, they're waiting on this to pay their dues first of this, like, um, residency or contract that they were, if they were living with someone, they've got to pay that off first and they're moving all their stuff out from that place to actually move in with you. But they're having to wait to do that because there's an error of fear around this person that they're having to avoid. It's that like they're trying to avoid someone and this stuff here is all the stuff that they've got left at their house and they're having to move it out. And that's and they're trying to avoid that person that they're in a contract with, friend, family, dog, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, physical animal, right? Because there's a physical animal there. There's a physical element there is what I heard. There's a physical element or there's a physical animal there and I can't give up my uh, dog. I have to bring it with me. Can't give up my animal shelter. Shelter. I'm hearing an animal shelter or a shelter. I can't give up my animal. Or animalistic <laughs> is what I'm hearing. <laughs> but they're getting support, meaning... They're either getting support financially from that person that they don't really trust. Okay. If it's not about trust, it's more about that they're, they're still in that contract that they're having to wait to move their stuff out from this contract of five here from them. What's this Ace of Blades for? <laughs> really? Ace of Blades covered by the Ace of Blades. Cover up. The cover up is what I heard. Covering something. Covering. Let's just cover it up. What are they trying to cover up? The King of Money. Okay. Two or oh, two. So hopefully this Two of Cups is with you and that you're not relating on to really not trusting your person. If you really don't and you are relating to this, that they've got a contract with someone else, that can be anybody. So don't let this tarot card reading fool you for me to say that it's another love interest if you don't know. If it is, this Two of Cups is just with another contract with someone else. But that can be anybody. Okay? King of Pentacles. Still to do with money that's all still tied up and rent that's got to be paid or waited for from this King of Pentacles here. Because the truth sets you free and comes in. And it's all to do with having money tied up in certain businesses or contracts with other people. Because there's other people, the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. That's other men in their life or other strong characters or people that own money. Seven of Blades, it is. It, they're trying to escape to move. Six of Wands. They're trying to escape that. And get out of it. Yeah. So the Seven of Blades to me is that a plan of, of getting out. To to come back to you with this offer here. And that's what they're trying to do. To offer you this. Financial support and aid of money. What's the King of Wands for? King of Wands. King of Wands, see, it's, uh, it's over, it's over, that's why they're coming back, so it could be an Aries, doesn't matter, whoever it's with, it's over with somebody, okay, because they've been stabbed in the back a lot by that situation in their life, that's led them up the garden path, and that's led them, they've been misread the wrong way, and because they've been misread, they're out, and they're coming back to you. What's the magician for? For support. Now that would be down to you. If they're coming back to you for support and you don't trust them, well, that's going to be down to you. But what they're doing in their life is what I'm feeling through this reading is that that is ended with that because it was like the blind leading the blind. And that because of that, family situation or friend or whatever, they're coming back to ask you if you want to work on it. What's the magician for? So after I do January, I will continue to do this for Pacific Timeline of January. 
Okay, if it's not relating to you it happening at the moment, it's <laughs> it's going to happen. Four of Wands. The Four of Wands. They've got a lot going on with family that dig things up. But that might be happiness just with their general uh, life with their family. That it's probably difficult for them to leave it behind if, if uh, they do have to leave. If you love your person and they love you, then this Seven of Swords is just coming from really this Four of Wands. Which is just a, like a cycle of family that they have to like a replace that they have to leave behind, which would be this, okay? But generally, still four of wands is still soulmate energy or some for twin flame or whatever you're on, but uh, they're willing to do it in the name of love. But for some of you, this would also be uh, if you're relating it to a prison sentence that someone's about to get out of here, because it. It feels for this reading that it's headed this way. <laughs> it's just waiting on the, this news. What's the six of coins? Six of coins. So waiting on love from Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But they've also still got a lot of love for their family, which is the Queen of Cups. But... See, family, there it is, money and family. They're waiting on this, five here, it's here again. And this is family, here, seven of coins, two sevens, 24, 24, six. They're waiting on this money. To be able to financially support themselves and that might be why they're coming back to you for to ask for your support also to merge something to physically together to work on it okay because they're not getting support here if they are with another love interest then they're not getting support from them because that would be a false twin flame or or a, a dynamic of karma and they're not quite getting that and that's why it's headed this way What's the six of ones for? Aquarius, they want, they love you. You're uh, astrologically aligned with this lesson of whatever it's been or whatever it is now, whether this be a new person or not. You're spiritually aligned with them. It's just written within your contract. It's not written within the stars. It's written within astrology for how powerful your energy can be when you understand about stepping into your dreams, which is what's going to be on the new channel. Okay, stepping into your manifesting dream and physically doing it with action. Okay, but that one will be over on the other channel at some point. But this is them wanting the dream, okay, and wanting you, but there's a go between of having to financially be able to do it, to back it. So it kind of it seems like they're looking for a backer that would support them in their dreams to be able to do one thing more than the other. But if they're entrepreneurial and they own a few, then they've just got a lot on. And what they really want is their well, they want it all. They want their job, their dream job, their desire, and they want you as well. All wrapped up in a basket. <laughs> What's the page of page of coins? So they realise some that they have to leave behind their friends or a child for some. And now if that energy is you, if you've got children, if you haven't, then that's kind of some kind of contract that's ended with a friend as well. It's a, it's a contract that's looming around their energy of, of completing their cycle to transform relationships with with new friends and family and new cycles of life, I, th I feel. But you do have the sign of Scorpio. Okay. They're just waiting to get out of that. What's the King of Blades for? King of Blades. Tempest, King of Blades. They're waiting on news. Some of them are waiting on news 
to where to go with their kids. If they've got kids and they're coming towards you, if not, this is coming through your energy together. But they're generally waiting on um, either a message from you to say that they've got the go ahead or they're waiting on a message from their kids to say, OK, or their family to say, yeah, you can go. What's the King of Blades? King of Blades, there you go. Soulmate energy. I mean, because you've got the six here, this can either be family, and these are family people that are looking after them, okay? But because you've got the two here as well, if they've got another soulmate, then this would be their other soulmate. Because you've got the six of cups and the two of cups, which can be fresh and new, and can be old here, because this could be a, a elderly parents, or it can be um, someone that's older, okay? Um, but it could also be another soulmate, but only if you know that. What's this six of cups for? But it's really coming through as, you see, three of cups. Only if you know, okay? Six, nine, wish fulfillment here. Two nines, it's like a cry for help of a completion. They're trying to seek guidance and also advice from their family and the people that they care for most of what to do to come to you to unite. Because they want to be with you, generally, is what I'm hearing now. They generally want to be with you. And that this Six of Cups here is generally the advice that they're seeking from their family first of approval before they can either one come back and come and ask you to marry them or to be with your twin flame soulmate okay and that's what's going on in their life capricorn i hope you enjoyed it if you want a personal reading you can reach out below okay please make sure that you check out becoming the change as a business page there are things that are going to change over there <laughs> the uh, the broken hearts beat the most if you want to follow that also or if, even if you are that's going to be turning into also music as well okay um but lucid dream tarot music i'm really trying to promote that of something else that i have for my dreams and i really would like your support to help me create uh my own so through those we will do loads of different dance music uh trance tracks meditation stories different kind of things videos video editing different kind of stuff that i want to do there is quite a few there now so i really would appreciate your support and backing with that if you would but you can find all links all descriptions to everything in the description box below along with uh, personal readings. Stand by for your January and for things to change after 2020 or so. But your January will be coming out. I'm not going to do um, weekly readings anymore from the 1st to the 15th. They don't seem to do very good. So I'm just going to change things up and do different readings. Money readings, stuff like that. So please stand by and make sure you hit the bell. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks very much, Capricorn. I hope you have a great, great, great Christmas. Thank you for all your support, for constant support always. And uh, I will see you again soon, guys. Thanks, Capricorn.